Hello, it's Ella from Arvis Artist. Today I want to show you how you can animate the car. This question appears a couple of times in the comments, so here it is. Let's begin. Model is in one object, not grouped, which is good. If you use a different card which is grouped, collapse it into one object. I add it to car layer and delete the current layer. In the first step, we have to detach wheels as they rotate while the car is driving. Let's detach all of them first and then detach each of them to the separate object. We have to center the pivot point of the wheels, so we can rotate them later. Next, create a dummy object. We will be linking objects to dummies and animate the dummies not to mess with the models. Align the dummy to the car and link the car to the dummy. Now, if we move the dummy, the car moves with it. Next, create four more dummies and align them to each wheel. Then, link each the wheel to its dummy and link small dummies to the main dummy. Let me show you why we do this like that. In this case, you can animate the position using the main dummy and rotate the wheel using small dummies. Let's link the rest of the wheels. We don't have to animate each wheel, I'll show you a better way. Let's create another dummy. I 
I'll name it Dummy Rotation. If we link wheels to the new dummy and try to rotate it, it won't work. We can link only Y rotation parameter. To do so, go to Animation menu and find the Wire Parameters option or use Ctrl plus 5 shortcut. Choose Transform, Rotation, Y Rotation and link it to the new dummy. Choose the same option. New window will open. We have to select arrows. This one means that they will affect each other. Then click Connect and it's done. We have to make this operation for each wheel. It might be more work up front, but it will be easier to use later on. I'll link the rotation dummy to the main dummy, so it will all move at once. Now we can animate it all together. Select the Auto key option and move the slider to the end frame. Let's move the car to the end position and add some rotation to the wheels. It's working, but the problem is that the wheel's rotation doesn't match the speed of the vehicle. We can calculate the exact number of rotation using some calculations. I found a nice online calculator, I will put the link below the video. We just have to add the distance that our vehicle travels and the wheel diameter to get the number of revolutions. To measure the distance, we can draw a line. Let's align vertices to the start and end position of the dummy. I forgot to turn off the auto key option. Next, go to Utilities and click on Measure. You can find the length of the spline here. Keep in mind units you are using. Type your values to the distance field in calculator. Next, we have to measure the wheel. Type the diameter value and click Calculate. The wheel will rotate 13 times. We are not done yet. We have to multiply this by 360 degrees. After you have your value, go to the last frame and rotate your dummies by this angle.
awesome! If you want to learn more about creating animations in 3D, I want to invite you to check out our animation course where we show you step by step how to do this. Click here to check it out on our website. Bye bye!